What's up guys, I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm going to make something that everybody likes, that is Yong Tau Fu. If you are unsure it's Yong Tau Fu, it is stuffed tofu with pork meat, fish meat, or the combination. But broadly speaking, it refers to any vegetable that is being stuffed by using the pork or fish meat. Such as, I've just made this Yong Tau Fu. You can see there are chilies, eggplants, um, bitter gourds, ladies' fingers. So it's not only tofu. And you can cook it either by boiling it in stocks, deep fried or pan fried. Today I'm going to pan fried it because I find that it is healthier and it is easier to make it at home. And I'm also going to make a sauce to drizzle on it before serving. So let's get started. Let's start making yong tau fu by preparing the stuffing. Most of the stuffings are made with either minced pork, fish paste or the combination. Since we only need the fish meat, the easiest way is to fillet the fish and then use a metal spoon to scrape the fish meat from the skin. There will be bones which must be carefully removed. After that, place the fish meat on the chopping board and mince it finely. Transfer the minced fish meat to a large mixing bowl. We also need some pork since most of the stuffing is a combination of fish and pork. Pork belly is best as it contains a fair share of fat. An easy way is to buy some minced pork with some fat from your butcher. The ratio of pork and fish varies. I use about 40% of fish and 60% of pork in this recipe. Now add the following ingredients to the meat. Cornstarch, some salt, light soy sauce, ground white pepper, and chopped garlic. Mix well. And minced garlic is necessary to counter the unwanted smell of fish meat. Now hold the meat with your clean hand, lift it up and throw it back to the bowl repeatedly. This action is a classic technique to incorporate the meat with other ingredients and transform the texture of the meat paste to become more springy. Do this action repeatedly for about 2 to 3 minutes and you will notice the texture of the meat paste has become very pasty and sticky. When this happens, it is done. Although yong tau fu means stuffed tofu, but broadly speaking, we also stuff other vegetables such as bitter gourd, ladies' fingers, eggplants, and chilies. Remove the seeds and the pits of the chilies. Similarly, do the same for the ladies' fingers. As for the eggplants, cut into half an inch thick crosswise, then make an incision at the middle of each slice, just shy from cutting it through. Cut the bitter gourd crosswise into 1cm rings, then remove the seeds with a metal spoon. As for the tofu, 
cut each block into half, then make a hole by using a metal spoon to remove part of the tofu at the center. This way will create a space to stuff the filling. Now we have the tofu and all the vegetables ready. Let's fill up each of them with the stuffing. Now pick up the meat paste with a small metal spoon or a butter knife and press it into the cavity of the vegetables and the tofu. Try to press it firmly into the cavity to prevent it from falling off while cooking. Now let's pan fry the yong tofu. In fact, you have a choice to either deep fry, pan fry, or simply boil the yong tofu in water. I prefer to pan fry them because it requires less oil than deep frying. Place the tofu and stuffed vegetables in the pan with the meat side down. Shadow fry the yong tau fu until the meat side turns slightly brown and then turn over and continue to pan fry the other side. I would suggest covering the pan with a lid for at least one minute any time during the cooking process, especially for those large yong tau fu pieces. This step is to ensure the meat paste is thoroughly cooked when both sides have turned golden. Once it is done, remove them from the pan. The yong tau fu is done. You can serve it as it is, but I'll prefer to make a sauce to go along with it. So here's how to make the sauce. It's quite simple. Heat some oil in the pan to medium heat, and then add the chopped garlic and saute until aromatic. Then season it with light soy sauce. Some water. Some oyster sauce. Followed by some Tao Chu, that's the fermented bean sauce. Balance the flavor with some sugar and ground pepper. Thicken the sauce with cornstarch slurry to form a thick gravy. Drizzle the gravy on top of the yong tau fu and serve. That's how to make yong tau fu and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have included the link in the description so that you can follow the link and download the recipe. Please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you again soon in some other similar video and bye for now.